Good morning, guys. Welcome to Life of Palos. I am Aaron Palos, and welcome to another beautiful day of supercar community news for all of you. The big story today, guys, the big story today, Farshad is back. But before we go any further into that story, let me remind you guys that we're trying to hit 100K before May, 100,000 subscribers before May hits. And when we do hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm giving away $2,000 to one of my lucky subscribers because give it back. You guys are doing awesome stuff for me. I want to do awesome stuff for you. Make sure to subscribe. We're going to release the official sort of like details and rules on that particular sort of giveaway very very soon but uh, yeah make sure to subscribe guys 100k before May I think we can do it okay back on to Farshad so it's been about two months since Farshad posted on his YouTube channel Fargini that only had a few uploads uh, since he sort of went out on his own we've been sort of wondering where Farshad has been for the last couple months now obviously he's got other stuff going on he's obviously posting very regularly on Instagram but a lot of were like you know darn we, you know he's got this YouTube channel he doesn't seem to be posting very much you know where is he I sort of like put a lot of that to bed by posting a new YouTube upload yesterday about going out in a Vander Hall Venice with the family and sort of like looking for a Hello Kitty store what's kind of interesting about this vlog that he did is it almost feels like a family perspective F spot video as weird as that sounds he's sort of doing the majority of it the mass majority of it from like a first person view with his camera about what he sees with his family and sort of like where he's going like what it looks like when the car rolls up it's kind of an interesting thing for him to do uh, he only really turns the camera around just a couple times now what else is kind of interesting is uh, if you guys pay attention to the end of Farshad's new video uh, messing around with the Vanderhall Venice RDBLA actually makes an appearance at the end of the video now we won't go into too much detail about why that's an interesting thing but suffice it to say it's uh, it's been a while since we've seen RDBLA sort of interact with Farshad or really anybody else from the team uh, so make sure to go check out his latest video it's nice to have Farshad back sort of providing like a new content angle and I hope that he sort of continues to make YouTube videos. It's fun to be able to talk about. He's obviously a very, very big influencer on Instagram. I'd like to see him make more videos because if you look in the comments of his video, everybody wants more videos from him that are already following him. His channel is in the description. Make sure to go check it out if you're interested in what Farshad has been up to. Now, someone we haven't talked about for a long time has been Tall Guy Car Reviews. Now, the last time we talked about them, we were talking about sort of the, the debacle that happened when he started asking people for a pretty sizable sort of like monthly fee to be part of like the G-Squad. That was kind of the last time we covered him. He just moved out to California and had his Hellcat and like literally two days in, the Hellcat gets swiped by another car and kind of messes up the front end a bunch. I would hesitate to say that it like crashed. I'm sure there's going to be some damage, but uh, in today's episode he sort of uploaded that the engine relatively looks fine. There'll be some amount of work there. But yeah, I mean interesting. If you guys want to go check out Tall Guy Reviews, yeah, it's a bummer. He has a very cool looking Hellcat and it's definitely messed up. So if you haven't been watching Tall Guy car reviews make sure to go check out his channel and kind of see what the aftermath is of uh, messing his Hellcat up kind of a bummer hope he gets it all fixed up and kind of back to running order typically the videos he does with his Hellcat are about four times as viewed as any of his sort of actual car reviews so people seem to really care about that particular car and sort of his relationship with it but yeah go check it out the information for his channel is in the description and another news Archie Hamilton uh, as you guys know is back into racing he's actually selling his Range Rover SVR which is a, a real shame because the SVR was a monster of a car. I really enjoyed him having that car. The exhaust on the SVR sounds awesome. It's actually a car that I'm actually looking at getting for my daily to sort of replace my Porsche Macan Turbo. So I love the Range Rover SVR. Very sad to see it go. But you know, who, who knows? Maybe we're going to see the uh, like something new. The F-Pace SVR or something crazy like that. We'll have to sort of wait and see. But it's going to be interesting to watch. I'm very excited for Archie to kind of get back into racing. Uh, it's been too long since we've had somebody sort of at that racing pedigree putting out sort of the racing content on YouTube so very excited to watch and of course you guys know that Goon Squad is back with part nine of their Huracan rebuild actually test driving the car now taking it out basically with uh, without most of the exhaust work yeah test driving it sort of seeing what it's like and it, it looks like it's driving for the most part pretty well but if you've been watching that particular series part nine is out just came out yesterday about an hour after I posted yesterday's video so we just missed it yesterday but yeah go check it out now as you guys know I'm a big fan of seeing through glasses sort of of like drive the world quest right now he's been putting out some really great content that for better or for worse isn't isn't getting a ton of traction for the most part except
out for his LaFerrari video did do fantastic. Uh, he's actually in Spain as of his last video. I did a video with a BMW M850i and sort of like driving these incredible roads in Spain. Make sure to go check it out. Some of the early cinematography in this particular episode is just fantastic. Like some of the best stuff that he's ever done. If you want to see like sort of like picturesque driving roads with uh, a really great host, Seen Through Glass is a channel you should be watching as he sort of travels the world for different car adventures. Link in the description. And because so many of you guys told me to check out DIY Gang uh, over the last couple months, I decided to sort of look into what they had. And I looked at like a number of different videos, but the ones that I was drawn to, if you can probably figure out, were uh, the McLaren 570S rebuild videos. Sort of taking a wrecked 570S and sort of doing a rebuild process. It's kind of a fun thing since we talk about a number of different rebuild channels here, obviously like Goon Squad, B is for Build. But those guys are all doing Huracans right now. And it's kind of cool to see somebody doing a rebuild on a McLaren. So make sure to go check out uh, DIY Gang. I hope I'm saying that right and I'm not. I am brand new to the channel, so you gotta give me a little bit of credit here if I messed up. But yeah, go check out their channel if you're interested in sort of like, you know, a, a McLaren rebuild process a little bit different than some of the larger channels are doing right now. And for those of you guys who watched my episode yesterday with Steve POV, the new Daily Driven Exotics host, you know that they're all in Japan. Damon, Dave, and Steve are all out in Japan right now trying to like sort of get immersed into the Japanese car culture and they're, they're definitely doing it. If you follow their Instagram account, you know that they're already sort of messing around with like really sort of like Japanese style Lamborghini Aventadors out there. I can't even imagine what the videos are going to be like, but based on the Instagram stories, I think we're hauling for a real treat. So make sure to go check out first their Instagram if you're not, but uh, I assume that we're going to get a video dropped very, very soon, but it's going to be fun guys. I've never, we've never seen Daily Driven Exotics in Japan before. And after talking with Steve personally, uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited for what they're going to be getting into. So make sure to go check it out. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today. Trying to keep it as short as possible, but as you guys know, the automotive YouTube community is just exploding right now. So many large channels doing incredible things. It's very hard to keep track of everything. I try to do my best to condense everything into, you know, 10 minutes or less. And really, most of our videos don't go over 10 minutes. You have to excuse me if they get a little bit long sometimes, but I want to kind of give you the bullet points. We're going to do our best to try to give you guys the best guide to automotive YouTube. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe if you're not 100K before May. Let's get it done, guys. And then when we hit 100K, I'm going to give away cash because you guys are awesome and you make my life uh, fantastic. Have a great day. Uh, have a great, gosh, is it Wednesday? Today? Yeah, Wednesday. Have a great Wednesday, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Same time, same place. Bye.